Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's Music Mondays. Now this week, I wanna talk about a video game soundtrack. Now I think most video games have uh, music that is, even if it's really well composed, the music doesn't really mesh with the gameplay in particularly interesting ways. So uh, at the most, you might get a dynamic soundtrack. Uh, and that's, for instance, like when you're playing an RPG and maybe you're just walking through the forest alone and there's a nice, calming, soothing, epic fantasy loop and then a giant rat attacks you and then you're smacking at the rat with a sword and there's uh, swelling battle music with choirs and horns and then the rat dies and then it goes back to the calming, epic fantasy loop. And that kind of thing isn't necessarily bad, it's not distracting and it helps kind of set the tone, but it doesn't really say anything compelling about the gameplay itself. Well, the soundtrack I want to talk about today is the soundtrack to the video game Offworld Trading Company, and it was composed by Christopher Tin. Now, you may already be familiar with Christopher Tin from the opening track of Civilization IV, which was Baba Yetu, which was the Lord's Prayer uh, sung in Swahili. Baba yetu yetu yulie minguli yet. You'll have to forgive me, my Swahili's a little rusty, but uh, that piece of music, I believe, was the first uh, piece of video game music to win a Grammy. And I think uh, Christopher Tin has done a really amazing job with Offworld Trading Company as well. And it really, uh, there's an interview over at the game publisher's website, Mohawk Games, in which he describes his process, and I'll link it in the description of this video. But one of the things that stands out to me is that Christopher Tin played this game while he composed the soundtrack, and he concentrated on making sure that the rhythm of the soundtrack reflected the uh, rhythm or the kinds of activity uh, in the game and that's really cool and at this point it probably makes sense to talk a little bit about the game itself. So Offworld Trading Company is a sort of like a RTS mixed with a really vicious game of Monopoly. In every round of the game your aim is to kind of colonize Mars and establish uh, a supply chain for the local colony while uh, cutting your competitors out of the market. So every game or every round of Offworld Trading Company takes place in a sort of funnel of anxiety. So the uh, opening part of the game is always the opening stage in which you're just laying out a few claims on strategic resources and uh, it's kind of slow paced and the music reflects that with kind of isolated synth tones or piano tones uh, that are almost like the calm before the storm. And then as the game stages progress, the music also progresses seamlessly along with the gameplay. So by the mid game, you're sort of increasing the complexity of your supply chain, you're looking around for uh, resources or opportunities to exploit and then by the end of the game you're in an all-out trade war you're desperately trying to uh, defend your own production from sabotage from your competitors while sabotaging your competitors own facilities you're defending your stock price you're trying to buy out your competitors before they buy you out uh, you're trying to spin up and spin down your factories on a dime and the music uh, reflects that kind of blaring uh, intensity and frenetic pace. For me, I find Offworld Trading Company a really fun and a really intense and engaging game because every game kind of forces you to read the market, read the um, dynamic uh, supply and demand uh, of all the production on a given map and respond uh, second by second. And one of the ways that the soundtrack really, really captures that sense of gameplay is that the soundtrack is composed of a lot of relentless arpeggios, just going up and down scales. 
and uh, Christopher Tin actually got a computer program to help him compose these arpeggios. So while you're kind of reviewing resource graphs as they spike up and down and zigzag all over the place, the music, uh, the music kind of fuses with that mentality of gameplay. Um, with its swelling and its, its dipping and it's just it's just a really great soundtrack and as much as I think that it works with a game really well I also tend to listen to this soundtrack when I want to be engaged in periods of intense concentration now it might be a little stressful so for some people but I think it makes decent uh, studying music for instance so I think the soundtrack does well on its own and I urge you to check it out in the description of this video. Now the album from the Album Club on the Discord today comes from Mr. Wales and it's called Aris, or I may not be pronouncing that correctly, but it's a sort of uh, Latin, I believe, uh, Latin instrumental music and it's great stuff. Like it's... Um, when I listened to it, the first track I thought, this is cool, and then by the second track I was, I was like, this stuff is just brilliant, because it's, it's, maybe I don't listen to a lot of Latin music, so I, uh, I don't really know my way around the terms, but the way the guitars sort of have that intensity of sudden attack out of nowhere, and the the, the kind of dynamic uh, pinpoint playing of these instruments where it goes from very loud to very soft and maintaining that rhythmic drive is really cool. So um, check the album out. I've actually had a, a great time so far listening to it. I still have a few more days to really get through all of it. Um, but I think it makes for makes for something that spices up uh, your daily commute or things like that. So check it out and if you want to uh, join in on the fun with Album Club, you can always check out our Discord uh, by supporting the channel on Patreon um, and I'll put a link in the description of this video. Thank you to everyone uh, and I hope you enjoy Music Mondays. Let me know what you think of the music as always uh, and happy listening.